What's up guys, welcome back to EFI Chronicles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a blockchain explorer in less than 10 minutes. So let's go straight into it. So in case you don't know, a blockchain explorer is a software that lets you understand where you're sending your money, who's receiving your crypto, and also how much money you're paying in gas fees and other um, really cool features and information. So first thing we need is a decentralized wallet. Um, in my case, I am using MetaMask, but you can use um, whatever you want. So here we have my assets and we have my activity. So basically on activity, it is my latest transaction. So what I'm gonna do is click on my latest, latest transaction. And as you can see, now I have the option to see it on a block explorer. So I'm gonna click on it. Then we have my transaction details. So all that information here on the screen is um, just for one transaction. So here we are on the Polygon scan, which is the block explorer for Polygon, for the Polygon network. Um, if you're using Ethereum, you will be redirected to Etherscan. If you're using AVAX, you will be redirected um, to a blockchain, so a um, block explorer, sorry, for AVAX. Or if you're using any other type of um, um, blockchain, then you will be redirected to their block explorer. I decided to go with Polygon because I think it might fit um, a lot of people, but in the end, it is still the same thing. Um, a ether, ether scan and a polygon scan is basically the same thing. It has the same basics and the same fundamentals, and it might have maybe one or two features that uh, might be different, but in the end, it, it is the same thing. So here we have the transaction details. You guys can see that the first information that we see is the transaction hash. The transaction hash is a unique identifier for that transaction. To, so that means uh, that number that we're seeing here is the ID for that transaction, for that specific transaction. So let's say you are on your banking system and you want to send me $100 and you also want to send maybe a buddy, your mom, a friend, a hundred dollars. So the way that you can differentiate um, which one is um, the hundred dollars for your mom and which one is the hundred dollars for me or for your friend is using that unique identifier. So that unique ID in case you later want to append a, um, a dispute or you just want to have the receipt for that transaction. So you, for that, you can use that unique ID. It is the same thing on crypto. So you have a transaction hash, which is a unique ID. Next, we have the status, which is um, super simple, success or fail. If it go through, um, then we have um, success. If it doesn't, then we have fail. Next, we have the block. The block is basically the number of that specific transaction on the Polygon network. As you can see, it is the number 34 million. Yes, 34 million. And also we can see that the timestamp is two hours. So I took that transaction two hours ago. And since then, I've, um, you can see that the number of blocks validated is 3,471 blocks. So there is a lot of people using the Polygon network. Um, next, we have from. From is my wallet from where you took that transaction. So that's why you, you guys can see my um, public address. Then we have two. So um, where am I sending that transaction or that smart contract? So um, as you can see, I am taking a uh, transaction on QuickSwap. I was um, betting some, doing some gambling on QuickSwap on the prediction, on the prediction um, tab, and uh, I won 4.45 Matic. So I decided to claim my reward. So that's why you guys can see that on value it says zero because I didn't send any Matic to that smart contract because what I was doing is claiming my rewards. So you guys can see that under it it says contract, and we got we have um, transfer which is 4.45 Matic. So this is the amount of Matic that I won. And then it says from the contract address. So from this one to my wallet address, which is the second one. So it is the same information that you're seeing here is from this one. So next we have the value. Then we have the transaction fee, which is extremely minimum. As you can see, it is not even one cent. Next, we have the transaction type. And if we click on to see more, you guys can see we have the gas limit, the gas used by transaction, gas fee, uh, max fee, max priority fee, burn fees. So which is pretty good. That means um, some of uh, the fees that I'm paying are being burnt. So some Matic are being burnt, which helps with the circulating supply, which it is not a lot. I think it is uh, maybe I think it was 0 0.25. 
5% per year, the burn rate. Um, last time I checked, but it is still good. At least some of it is being burned. So we, we are not going to have access to that Matic again. So um, with time, it will be decreasing the amount of Matic available to trade and to purchase. So next we have um, transaction savings, which for each upgrade on the update or upgrade on the polygon network the transaction savings should go a little bit up so that means it will be cheaper to take transaction of the polygon network um it says zero just because i didn't pay for that transaction as you can see here the amount of the amount that i paid is extremely minimal so um what else what else what else what else so basically um here with the with that information um, you can see who's receiving your money, um, where you're sending your money, the contract address that you're um, um, doing some interaction with. Remember that a contract address is a smart contract, so there is no middleman. So that's why um, after um, the contract realized that I did indeed um, made that 4.5, 4.45 um, Matic in rewards, it just gave me my Matic back. So um, that's why it is a smart contract because there is no middleman. So next um, on the list is a really cool feature. I'm not gonna go really in depth, but uh, as you can see, we have search, the search bar here that you can add the address, a um, contract to see the total value lock. Um, total value lock is the amount of money I'm saving that contract address. You can also add your address, my address, someone else's address, just to check the information. And also you can add the transaction hash, as you can see here. So that's why we have a unique identifier, a block, a the token. So basically a lot of things um, we can do on the block explorer. And lastly, something really cool that I want to show you is here on resources is chart and stats. So this is what we call on-chain data. Um, this is super simple, but it gives you some type of information um, that you can start at least start using and start um, understanding on the Polygon network. As you can see here, we have the daily transaction chart. Um, we have the ERC20 daily token transfer. We have the unique addresses. So that is something that I'm going to open to show you daily transaction chart. Um, let's see what else we have the average block time chart. We have the daily active Polygon POS chain address. Uh, let me open this one and daily active ERC20 addresses. We have all the, some of the information as network pending transaction, network transaction fee, which should be decreasing with time because you're spending less, I guess, unless there is a lot of people using the Polygon network and verified contract address. So let me show you some of these charts. Here we have the Polygon POS chain unique address. You guys can see that it has been increasing by a lot. Just in July, we had around 150 million. And now in October, we have 174. So that is an, an increase of 25 million in just what? Three months, two to three months. Next, we have the, uh, what else? The POS chain daily transaction chart. You guys can see it has been pretty stable since November. So um, May, which is, I'm, I'm pretty sure, here is uh, May. So you guys remember that in May we have the big, we have the big um, pump in Bitcoin, Ethereum. So everybody was using a lot of um, blockchain. So that's why we are seeing that big pump in the daily transaction. So um, so that's pretty normal. But one thing that I really like is that this has been pretty steady over the almost a year now. So we have been pretty steady. So that's a good thing. And then we have the daily ERC uh, active addresses. So that is also um, also the information that you might want to look into. So we have all the charts here, like uh, what else? What else? We have the average gas price um, chart. We have the average block size chart. What else? Mm, we have the network utilization chart um, network transaction fee chart network pending chart we have also some information around the validators so basically with the um, block explorer first thing is that you can understand 
what you're doing with your transaction. Myself, I am taking between 10 to 20 transactions per day, so I need to understand what I am doing, where I'm sending my money, um, just to make sure that I'm doing everything right. And second, um, just using this chart and statistic, I can understand if the Polygon network is growing. So if I want to invest in Polygon, you guys know that the coin, the governance coin on Polygon is Matic. So I need to understand, okay, so is the um, blockchain really growing? the unique addresses is it really growing so now you have the tools to understand all all this type of information that might help you take a decision if it is good to you to invest or not so hopefully uh, this helps you out this adds some value and some knowledge and if it does drop a like um, subscribe and also there is a link in the description for my newsletter um, two times a week i post some pretty good information so make sure to subscribe it's free thank you